Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor. I have just dropped my six-year-old off for his baseball game. These, these are six, this is a six-year-old and they they want the kids there an hour before the game starts. That's pretty crazy when you think about it. <laughs> um, first, the thing I wanted to cover this afternoon, this is huge news right here. Um, and I wanted to talk, first I wanted to explain to you this in context. In the, in the past, I've um, kind of told you my thought pattern on investing in, say, XRP versus a stock like a Facebook stock. And what I've said is, if you think about it, um, that stock is going gonna, is gonna to rise and fall based on speculation. XRP is going to rise and fall based on speculation. But XRP has something that, that that Facebook stock does not, and that is current use cases and future use cases, use cases that have not even been invented yet. On top of that, Ripple came out with the Spring Initiative, which is basically an initiative that funds new ideas and new startups that will utilize XRP in the course of their business. And that is exciting. And this is one example you're looking at here. This is from Forte Platform. Excited to partner with Spring to revolutionize gaming with blockchain. And Ethan Beard runs Spring, the Spring Initiative. And XRP Crypto, Wolf summarized all of this in a really good tweet here. Spring is partnering with Forte Platform to revolutionize gaming with black blockchain. We've worked with the Forte team from early on to deeply embed Interledger, Codius, and XRP in the platform architecture to maximize cross-chain interoperability, security, and, li and liquidity. Um, and then uh, Ethan Beard, had, he's retweeting, um, or he's tweeting out what Ethan Beard had um, said. And then this is further what's going on from XRP Crypto. The plan, which features a $100 million fund for developers, could remake the gaming industry by creating a new way to create in-game marketplaces for digital goods. When the gaming platform decides to integrate ILP, it could spur the mass adoption of XRP. Forte Company is relying heavily on technology developed by Ripple, including the Interledger Protocol, an open source protocol for conducting transactions across different blockchains, blockchains and a smart contract service known as Codius. Um, and this is something a lot of people don't think about often with regard to XRP, but XRP is a smart contract platform with the use of Codius. The fund will be overseen by Forte, a San Francisco company founded this year by prominent gaming executives, which is backed and advised by a host of big Silicon Valley names, including Andreessen Horowitz, Coinbase Ventures, and Battery Ventures. Um, so this is just Really, I mean, this is huge. This is exciting. And this article was in Fortune magazine today. Big, big stuff coming, folks. Feel really good about where you are in your XRP investment. I know that we've been in a bear market, but there's going to be a day when utility itself, through the use cases that are coming with just ideas like this, dwarf what happens in the speculation. It won't matter if there's a bear market or not at some point and that's what's so exciting about digital assets like xrp next from c3 nick the other day i had show i had uh i think i had shown a um there was a video i had seen uh, yeah it was um the video from uh, the cnbc crypto show with Rand nooner um he had a swift uh executive on there and she had she had said that i think the numbers speak for themselves and she was trying to he, he was asking her if she was threatened more or less by XRP and she's like, Oh, I think the numbers speak for themselves. In other words, Swift's numbers and the amount of money we're moving through that we're moving right now is far more than what XRP or Ripple's doing. And so he makes a really good point here. The numbers actually do speak for themselves. 
Ripple provides faster and more secure settlement solutions. She is using the same argument like Steve Ballmer when it came to the iPhone. We sell a lot more Windows phone devices a day. Apple is selling zero phones a day. And then we all know what ended up happening. Okay, the next thing I'm about to show you is very interesting. Okay, this is, first of all, let me give you a backdrop. We, for the last few days, we've been talking about the XRP chat forum where Bob Way, who was one of the first 10 employees at Ripple, at that time, he's acknowledged in this thread that he worked with Arthur Brito, who has disappeared. We don't, nobody know. I mean, this guy, they say he's like a secretive guy, but he's disappeared. Arthur Brito, he also worked with David Schwartz, who is the CTO of Ripple. This is an article that I showed you back in November, November 9th, 2018. Satoshi Nakamoto finally revealed a back of the envelope discovery unveils Gavin Andreessen as Bitcoin's inventor. Now, Gavin Andreessen was a guy who, he's a Bitcoin guy, and he was, um, I don't remember exactly what he was with, but he's been a hardcore Bitcoin guy from early on. Well, this article had, had pegged Gavin Andreessen um, as they thought that he was Toshi Nakamoto because of the phrase back of the envelope. It was a phrase that they showed in this article that had been used several times uh, by Satoshi Nakamoto. This was a post here. It says this was sent. This was a post from 2-23-2010 on the Bitcoin talk forum by Satoshi Nakamoto. And it, and he used the term back of the envelope, envelope projection. Then later they show another post. Um, a rough back of the envelope example. And this was from um, also from the Bitcoin talk forum. Uh, this was from 717 2017 2017. I'm sorry, 717 2010 by Satoshi Nakamoto. Now this um, he also used back of the envelope. Then they um, then Gavin Andreessen saw what they're trying to do and he said it's ridiculous. But um, he here this is a post from Gavin Andreessen where he says back of the envelope with the same pattern. Okay. And then later on, he said that that's ridiculous and y'all don't know what you're talking about. Um, but back here, this is from Gap. They showed several examples where Gavin Andreessen kept using this same phraseology. Um, and then they would go back and show where Satoshi Nakamoto did the same. Okay. So I get from Peter Binstead, luck at Lucky Pete 1988, he says he he and Wonka, there's a Willy Wonka XRP. Um, it says he and Willy Wonka, they believe, I believe that's who he's referring. He says Wonka. I believe that's who he's referring to. He says David, Dave Schwartz and Arthur Brito are Satoshi. That's what he thinks. And then he says, but maybe it's David Schwartz, Arthur Brito, and Bob Way. And what he's talking about is this. This was, I talked about this, I think, earlier today. Somebody asked Bob Way in this thread on XRP Chat, when moon? Look at the phrase that Bob Way uses in answering this question, back of the envelope uh, calculations. The only thing that's different is Bob Way does not use the dashes in here. But these guys are obviously all in the developer club, and they're all, they all interact with each other. And so I thought that this was just something fascinating enough to pass along to you. I'm not saying that that um, any of these guys are Satoshi Nakamoto, but as long as we're all in the digital asset game and we're all interested in these topics and Satoshi Nakamoto, the mystery of who that is has always been interesting. I thought that this would be an interesting thing to at least show you because it is interesting. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button and tell your friends and family that you really do hope that the digital asset investor's six-year-old does well in his baseball game tonight. And maybe if we're lucky, he'll hit another home run tonight and we can all uh, have a good evening. Thank you for listening.